What is happening all you wonderful people? Welcome back to the RA Visuals channel. You know, I have been looking for a new laptop for a little while right now, specifically one with a new Ryzen processor in it and an RTX 30 series card in it. Yeah, I know, you're looking at me like, Ricky, that's impossible, you're not gonna find that. Well, the day has come, you guys. I found one, finally. So, this is the ROG Zephyrus G15, the 2021 version just came out. Got it at Best Buy, and we're gonna get this thing open for you guys right now and show you what it does. Let's go. Audio sync. Audio sync. All right, guys, I don't wanna waste any more time. Let's get this thing open and show you guys what you get in the box. And while I'm doing that, I will do a quick spec rundown of what you get in this build of the G15 2021 uh, from Best Buy here. So this one is the 15.6 inch version with that uh, 2560 by 1440 display. And that is Pantone certified. It's supposed to have beautiful colors for video editing and stuff like that. It's supposed to have 100% of the, uh, the the Adobe color range and all that stuff. So for content creators like me, this is very appealing. And that was one of the reasons why I got it. It also has the RTX 3070 in it. And of course, this is probably, actually I know it is, it's a Max Q version. Nvidia doesn't say it's a Max Q version, but it actually is. It's not a full desktop version because I believe it can only supply 100 watts of power to the graphics card. So obviously it's it's not gonna be as powerful as a desktop class 3070. So we may com compare it in another video and see how it can like matches up against a desktop card. Maybe my 2080 that I have in there. But anyway, it has 16 gigs of RAM, uh, unfortunately. Eight gigs of that is soldered to the board. I I learned that before I bought it and I figured whatever, I'm gonna bite the bullet and just deal with it. Kind of sucks, but yeah, eight gigabytes is soldered onto the board. I wish they wouldn't have done that, but I believe you can still upgrade it. You can probably take one of the, the eight gig stick that's uh, removable out and I think you can upgrade it even with just like a single 32 gig stick. But I'm not sure how that works with dual channel and stuff like that. I may have to update you guys on that in another video. Um, but yeah, and then it also comes with a one terabyte SSD as well. So I believe that I covered the main stuff that you guys need to know. Anyway, screw it. Let's just get this thing open because I'm too excited. So here we go. Let's go here. There we are. There is the laptop right there. You guys can see the top down camera. And look at this, look at the box right there. It says uh, ROG, look, look, what does that even say? Does that say join? Oh my gosh, join, join the Republic of Gamers. Look at that, they're trying to get you to join their cult, guys. Okay, so here's the actual system itself. Let me go ahead and what's, what's in this little side box here? Let's check that guy out. Okay, so we got the, the brick, which here is the actual, yeah, here's the power brick. It's actually not that big. Look at that, it's not super thick either. And then here's the other end um, right there. So here we go, let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. Look at that, you can see my reflection, pretty cool. All right, so there it is right there in all the nice plastic wrap. There is some, uh, some vents on the back that you guys can hopefully see, very cool. And then, uh, yeah, let's get this thing out into the side here. Is there anything else in the box that you guys need to know about? Here is the little ROG box right here. So let me see if there's anything in there. Maybe it's probably just documentation and maybe a warranty card or something like that. I know in past, my last laptop, it came with a keychain. I still have it. Uh, it's pretty cool. So yeah, we got our usual stuff, our <laughs> Libra review, get rewarded stuff, um, warranty stuff. There you go. That's all that's in there. Cool. All right, guys, so I went ahead and zoomed in for you so you could see the laptop better and get a nice closer look at it. So let me go ahead and flip it over from the bottom here and let's get it unwrapped, shall we? Let's go ahead and do that. Get rid of that. And here we go. And look at that, you can already see that little, uh, hopefully you guys can see it on camera. There's a little sparkle in these little holes right here. Now, this design is pretty cool. I've seen this on other ROG laptops where you can actually change the RGB and make this like do different things. But on this one, I believe you can't do that. It's just there and you can you can see the sparkle behind it. Um, so I don't, I don't really know if it's like, it serves any purpose, not really. But uh, I can, the only thing I can see this is happening in this is like, you know, food and stuff like that, getting caught in these, which dirt and stuff like that, I'm sure it will. But either way, so right here, hopefully you guys can see this. This little guy right here says Republic of Gamers uh, established 2006 right there. I'm not sure why they went with that, but that, I mean, that's kind of cool. But either way you guys build, it looks like it's, uh, it feels like it should be brushed aluminum, but I don't think it is. I think it's more plastic. Um, or it has like an aluminum top, but then plastic on the bottom here. Let's flip it over. 
yeah, there's definitely a plastic all over the bottom. And you can already see on the bottom here, there's vents here, vents here, right here. And then there's a couple of little um, poke outs right here. So that way it lifts the chassis up from wherever you have it sat. Same, same with this right here. So that way airflow goes underneath the laptop, which is good to see. And then of course you got these speakers right here. They're underneath the laptop. They're not, I think they're, I think they actually have one here, here, and then there's right there. So that way, um, hopefully they sound pretty good. I mean, I, I don't normally use just like the, um, the speakers on a laptop. I normally actually just use headphones, but you know, good to have just in case you need to use it. And then um, you can see, hopefully you guys can see this right here. Let me flip this around so you guys can read it. Right here, if you guys can see that, it says Zephyrus right there on the bottom, which is kind of cool. And then, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, we'll, we'll take it apart probably in another video. I'm not gonna do that today. Um, or maybe I will, I don't know. We'll see how I feel about that. If you guys look at it, it looks like it's made of all like aluminum. Like it looks like it should be in an all aluminum unibody, kind of like a razor or something like that. And if you guys see, it's very, very thin. So. Pretty nuts that you can get this amount of power in a thin laptop these days. Pretty cool. All right, guys, let's talk about the I.O. selection, starting with the left side of the laptop. So starting from back to front, we have a power port, an HDMI 2.0 port, an RJ45 Ethernet port, USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A, and then a pair of USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C's with DisplayPort 1.4 capability and also Power Delivery 3.0. And then lastly, you have yourself a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for headphone and microphone. Switching over to the right side, we have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A, a micro SD slot, honestly wish this was a full size slot, but it's just a micro slot, and then we have a Kensington lock. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get it down right here and flip up the display for the first time. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so can you do it with one finger? Yes, you can. So there you go. There's the one finger test, guys. I know Linus Tech Tips likes to do that. There you go. All one finger, it works. Okay, now let's talk about the keyboard real quick. First thing I noticed right out of the gate, you guys, there's no print screen button. You guys know how I feel about the print screen button. You're saying to yourself, Ricky, how could you buy yourself a $1,800 laptop that doesn't have a freaking print screen button? Well, it's a small price to pay for something with this amount of power, guys, but there's other ways around it, okay? I can use the snip tool, whatever. But, you know, that would have been great to see. But yeah, guys, it's just a standard, I think, chiclet. Um, yep, chiclet uh, keyboard, and it does have RGB lighting. Uh, it didn't look like that in the literature, but it actually does. You can change it to different colors and I'll show you that when I boot it up. And then you got yourself your little arrows right here that actually are doubled as a page up, down, end, and home. So this is where like they would have put a, uh, a print screen button or either that or up here. So either way, look, see that? Look, there right there is the snip tool. So I think that's what they were replacing it with. You can use this instead of using a print screen. I think that's why. Let's talk about the case right here on this, on this part of it. It looks like it should be metal, right? And it, and it really does look like it's brushed metal or, or like brushed aluminum, but it's not. You can feel it, it's ABS plastic. At least I think it's ABS plastic, but yeah. Um, it does, you can see the fingerprints, but they go away. So it's actually not a fingerprint magnet, which I maybe that's A, to save money probably, but B, maybe that's why they went with this material and this paint job, because look, your fingerprints don't show up. And somebody like me, who like constantly uses stuff like this, I actually appreciate that, that's kind of nice. Um, and then you guys will notice right here, there is a vent on the top that actually vents out air towards the, there's a, there's a bezel right here before it gets to the actual display. So I'm not sure if this affects your display or something like that. Uh, I, I may have to use this for an extended period of time and let you guys know about that. But I'm actually very curious to see if that somehow will affect the screen at all. I'm, I, I gotta believe they tested that before, but who knows? Who knows if they did or not? But yeah, anyway, let's move on from that. Okay, let's talk about the trackpad real quick. Let me. Okay, so it's clicky all over. So yeah, you got your forward and back clicks. You can click pretty much anywhere in it except for the very top right here. You can't click right there. It feels nice. It feels nice and smooth. But guys, I'm, I'm gonna be using a mouse with this like 90% of the time anyway, but it, it feels like it's nice. I gotta turn it on first, let you guys actually know how it tracks. But as far as the touch, 
feels good. I wanna let you guys know about the screen. It articulates all the way down. So there you go, you can go like that. And the screen can lay completely flat if you want. I have no idea why you guys would wanna do that, except for what I'm about to do right now. It makes it perfect for top-down shots. Because if I wanna power this on and show you guys how fast it turns on, you guys can see it. So I mean, I, that's a really weird use case to, to have this for, but I mean, you basically can turn it into a freaking like, it looks like a razor. Like a Motorola, it looks like a big Motorola razor phone. Haven't you guys ever seen that phone before? <laughs> so there you go. I mean, I don't know why they thought to do that, but it does do this thing right here. Let me show you guys in the camera. So when you do uh, fully extend it to 180 like that, it does lift up on your surface. You guys can see the hinge right here. So it will lift right there. These two things, it'll it'll lift up off your surface. And again, that's for better ventilation and stuff like that. So, you know, good on Asus for doing that to make sure this thing is proper ventilated because it's got some really awesome hardware that needs that. Here we go. Here's a boot time test. Uh, hopefully it's charged. Usually there's a charge on it when you first get it, but let's just try. Ready? Three, two, one. Well, that's awkward. Let me, let me plug in the adapter. All right guys, so now I have it plugged in and I actually set it up for the first time. I totally forgot I needed to do that. I was kind of rushing. Anyway, let's go ahead and now test the boot up time on the one terabyte hard drive here. Ready? Three, two, one. Now that I actually set everything up. The good old Republic of Gamers boot screen and 13 seconds, not too shabby. Nice and quick, you guys. Makes that cool Republic of Gamers boot screen logo. It's been like that since the beginning of these ROG laptops. My old one had it too. And it honestly, when you boot it up like that in front of somebody, everybody always goes, what was that? So it makes you seem pretty cool, I guess. If you're doing this in class or something like that, it may be a little annoying, so. I don't know, maybe just have some headphones in. Okay guys, so let's talk about the screen here since we have it and it's able to actually lay down like this. This is very cool for like a product review. This is pretty easy. I don't have to like tilt it up or anything for you guys to see it. So let's take a look at this screen right here. Like I said, it is a 15.6 inch screen. It's got some nice thin bezels on the side. Uh, you'll notice the bezel on the top's a little bit bigger and then the bezel on the bottom is definitely thicker. And you guys will notice that there is no camera on this laptop. Doesn't matter, there's no webcam. Webcams suck anyway, in my opinion, on, on laptops. I haven't really found one that I ever wanted to use. So I'll, I'll put my own external webcam on this anyway, so I really don't care. So again, this is a 2560 by 1440 panel. It runs at 6, 165 Hertz and it covers 100% of the DCI-P3 spectrum and then it is Pantone certified. So let me get us in the desktop here. So there you go. There's a nice little Harry Potter wallpaper for you guys. So let's go ahead and just show the screen brightness. Um, let's see, I'll put how many nits this goes to on the screen over here somewhere. So that way you guys know, cause I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn it down. Where is it? Uh, right here, turn it all the way down. So there is the dimmest right there, and let's turn her back up. So there's Max. So as you can see at, at Max, it's plenty bright, you guys. There's nothing wrong with it. I remember seeing a couple of things online about this. People were worried about the, the max brightness of this laptop. People said this about my old ROG laptop too, and honestly, guys, I, I, it's fine. It's a matte screen as well. It's not glossy. So uh, in sunlight and like reflection, stuff like that, they're not super harsh or anything. I prefer screens like this. Me personally, I really like stuff like this. So I'm a fan of this screen for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what kind of bloatware we end up having on this thing pre-installed. So let me just hit the start button right here. What do we got? We actually have AMD Radeon software. I'm guessing that's just for the processor, hopefully, because there's definitely not a Radeon graphics card in here. Uh, let's see, uh, it doesn't look like a lot actually. It looks like it's very, very, just, it's bare bones. There's not, there's not a lot of anything. So this is Asus's Armory Crate, you guys. So this is actually like a pretty cool thing for this laptop and these, all the ROG laptops anyway. You can see all of your system stuff right here. See what your CPU is doing right here. How many, how much usage it's going. Your memory frequency, the temps that are happening right now. So at idle right now, we're sitting at a nice and chilly 56 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cool. I mean, it could be lower, obviously, like on my desktop, it's usually lower than that. Um, but that's, it's a laptop, you guys. You gotta remember that. So storage right here, you guys can see that just right out of the box, we're only using 4.9% of the one terabyte hard drive. So we got 933.5 gigabytes available. So this thing doesn't come loaded with a bunch of crap on it. 
That's very, very refreshing to see on a new laptop. So again, you guys, you can see what all your different stuff is doing. You can customize a whole bunch of different things. You can do different fan profiles. You can set it for different uh, options for energy saving, noise reduction, all that different stuff. So that's your Asus Armory Crate. One other quick thing I wanted to show you guys in Armory Crate real quick is that, remember that boot up sound I was talking about? You can actually turn it off. You can turn it off right there. You can mess with stuff with the Windows key, touchpad, uh, your panel power saver. You can turn your iGPU on or off. I always leave it off so that way I can use the full on graphics card. And then you can put the three milliseconds panel overdrive. So yes, this guy, guys, this, this panel is a 165 hertz panel, but it doesn't run at one mill milliseconds. Unfortunately, it's three milliseconds, but guys, when I test this for gaming, I don't think I'm gonna notice anyway. Okay, so I figured I'd leave you with this. Let me go ahead and open up the back here and see if there's any potential upgrades possibly that we can do. I know I've seen that I think you can upgrade a couple of hard drives and even the RAM and all that kind of stuff. I just kinda wanna see for myself. So it looks fairly easy to take off. We should just have some screws here. So let me unscrew these. I'll probably time lapse through this, but here we go. All right guys, so here are the guts of our G15 right here. And you can see underneath, uh, just from what I can look at, you can see all the heat pipes right here, the two coolers right there. And then over here, we got our Wi-Fi 6 card. And then here is our one terabyte hard drive right there, which it looks like it's a SK Hynix one, which they make really good OEM stuff, so that's cool. Then of course, you know, you got that. I think it's for heating and stuff like that. It's got a little pad on it. Um, and then, or not heating, but cooling. Um, and then here's our RAM right here. So. As you can see, you only see one stick, which really sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and peel that back right there. So there you go. It's, it is Samsung memory. Very nice. We like to see that. And then, uh, yeah, you can see right here, look at this big old battery right here, 90 watt hour battery. So that's awesome. So yeah, they say that this thing should be able to run for quite a while. Um, I will, you know, thoroughly test that and uh, tell you guys about that, or at least at least let you guys know in one of our, our performance videos. But yeah, that's pretty much the inside of it, guys. That's really all I wanted to show you as far as how to tear this thing down. Super easy, you just gotta take all the screws out. There's three little ones in the middle that have little covers on it. They always try to do that to deter you from taking things apart. But you just gotta take them off real quick and then they come off. That's super simple stuff. Yeah, on that note, that's gonna be it, you guys. I really wanted to just unbox this thing, let you guys have a first look at it, take it apart, show you guys what's inside of it real quick. And that's pretty much it, you know? Uh, if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you give the video a like. It helps the channel out a ton. And if you wanna stay tuned and see the next couple of videos for this, make sure you guys get subscribed with those notifications on so you don't miss it. But that's gonna be it for me today. You guys have an awesome one and I'll see you later.